We're working in an environment that's just fraught with danger. We've got uh, high vapor pressure product that we're dealing with all the time. Moving machinery as well as steam. Pressure to gas, to chemical exposures, to heights, to rotating equipment. H2S is the number one thing around here. Driving is one of the most dangerous things each of us does every day. You could trip over boxes, uh, slam your hands in the drawer. Uh, working in high places, uh, working in the pipe rack. If you go outside the door, you're taking a risk. It's what, how we mitigate those risks that makes the place a safer place. At work, we manage risk by determining the job scope, assessing the hazards, and putting controls in place to mitigate them. And we don't go into any equipment without it being depressured, uh, locked out, and, and purged. Before you even kick off a project, we have probably two or three safety meetings. We don't want anybody put in the position where they're even vaguely possible going to get hurt. So people are always watching for safer ways to do things. You have to live it and breathe it and talk about it and, and that, to me, that's what happens here. We'll shut this plant down, leave it down for one hour, one day, one week, one month until we're sure it can be done safely. The task is going to be completed or we won't do it. And I've never heard anyone, local management, my bosses on up say, all right, let's go to work. Regardless, if it's not safe, we won't work. We'll wait and get it right. It's simple if it's not safe. It's simple. If it's unsafe, it's simple. If it's not safe, stop, stop the, the job. job. To me, safety is a personal commitment. It's a commitment at home, that I'm safe around the house and that I watch that my family is safe. It's also a personal commitment at work to our staff, to our leadership, to our stockholders, and to the public around our facilities. It's important that we work safely so that we can go home and do the things that we enjoy doing. To properly manage risks at home and at work, um, it takes training, um, proper procedures, uh, proper controls. But most importantly, it, it, it takes the right attitude. We're constantly looking for new and better ways to do things, to do things more safely. That's part of the engineering part of my job. And also to be aware of all the little things. Safety means to me that we won't compromise that we're not willing to take a risk that we don't need to take regardless of the profit or the timeline. If you're not safe, even a small incident can change your life forever and the people around you. I've seen uh, one person lose a life and I've seen others that actually have been scarred for life. Those memories have actually left a lasting impression on me because the impact it had on family and friends and also me throughout my career has, uh, has left me with wanting to make sure that never happens to my family or co-workers. I've got to provide for my family and if I'm not safe, I'm not going to be here to do it. Safety for my wife, my kids, Safety my family. It's for my wife, my kids, my family. Safety, it's about my husband, my kids, my Safety. family. For my wife, for my child, and my Safety. friends. It's for my family and my friends. Safety. For my wife, my kids, and my family. Safety. It's about my wife, my kids, and my family. Maverick's looking good, Megan. Good job. The safety to me is both a commitment and a responsibility. I've made a personal commitment to work safe in everything that I do. And I have a responsibility to, to ensure that those folks that work around me work safe and that I, that I work safe and that I can come home to my family, my daughter here, Megan, and the things that we like to do together. Safety is all encompassing. You have to make sure you're safe at work so that you can get home to do the things you, you work to do and love to do. And at home, you have to make sure that you're safe so that you can come back to work to get that paycheck so you can go back home again to do the things you love to do. What we like to do together is uh, participate in the sport of judo and that, in, that, that involves a great deal of preparation, uh, warm-up, training to make sure that we know what we're doing before we go ahead and do that. And with any sport, there's always a risk of injury. So we rely on our, our senseis 
to uh, teach us the correct way to do something and we practice that. Before I'm going to play hockey, I'm going to make sure that all my equipment's ready, my skates are sharp, that sort of thing. If I'm going to play with my niece, I make sure I put my contacts on because she's going to rip my glasses right off my face. If I take a look at my grandson, I've, uh, I've worked with him now for the last uh, year and a half and any time that I get on my tractor and I have hearing protection on, I put hearing protection on him and just by doing that he actually knows that he can't ride on it without hearing protection and uh, I think that just goes a long ways towards building that safety culture starting at a very young age and building it uh, as we get up through our lives. IIF to me is a different approach to safety than we used in the past. It's more of the subjective side than the objective side of safety. Subjective being more of the moods, the emotions, the experiences of people, and not so much the rules, the regulations, the policies. It's a way of caring. You care for me, I care for you, and we all go home safe at the end of the day. We go in great depths to create procedures. IIF looks more towards a subjective side and building working relationships with your coworkers. That's the biggest difference I see in IIF and how it's going to affect the safety of the employees. They realize, hey, it's my choice to be safe because people really care and they're not going to drive policy procedures down my throat. We're on a journey to a personal commitment. It's about following procedures and standards, not because we have to, but because we want to. Like I want to make this 20-foot putt. It's all attitude. If we want to be safe, we can be safe. There's no reason to compromise. If we have a conversation and we find that there's a bit of a gap and you need some extra tools and resources, I'll commit as a supervisor to get that. You as an employee then have to agree that you will commit to use those extra tools if we spend the money to get them. And then at the end of it, we also have to follow up to make sure that I got that tool, you're using that tool, and that the place is a safer place because of this, these commitments that we made to each other. Safety, it's about commitment. It's about commitment. It's about commitment. Safety, it's about commitment. My family does understand the, the IIF, like I've talked to them about IIF and what a, how good it is that I'm really excited about it. And I think they do feel like if, if we manage to uh, look after one another that it's got to be a better place to work. If, if I'm not the only one caring about me, every, everybody's worrying about me, then everybody goes home at night. What I find now after IIF is I try to be a little bit more conscious of how I'm dealing with risk at home and try to bring that to work with me. People are taking their safety personally, okay? They're, they're, they're taking the time to do the JSAs, they're taking the time to take, do the safety meetings, they're taking the time to do that because they personally care about each other. And that, that's always been here, but it's a little bit more emphasized now that the incident injury free is coming to play. Safety, it's personal. It's personal. It's personal. Safety, it's personal. The future of safety within the NGL business unit is exciting to me. I mean, we've got the rules and the policies and, and the programs that we've used in the past that gotten us to where we are today. But IIF is that mechanism that to, to bust through the crust, if you will, to, to get us to that next level to where we've changed attitudes where we want to work safe instead of because we have to work safe. And when we have an attitude change like that, we all get to go home safe at the end of the day. I think with the implementation of IIF and, and the way it's designed to work, I think you're going to see a significantly better safety outcome in the long term when people realize that the company does care and the people we work with care, and not only for employees, but contractors as well, that in the long term, it can't help but get better. We're on a journey towards uh, meeting BP goals. No accidents, no harm to people, no damage to the environment. The tools provided by the incident injury free form will help us reach that. It's not about numbers, it's, uh, it's about people. And the, the, the way we show true care and concern towards everyone will help us improve our safety results into the future. Safety is important to me because it means coming home every night to the things I love to do and the people I love. It's all about being safe. And just like in basketball or in hockey, it takes teamwork to be safe. 
from a maintenance tech who needs to make sure that the equipment they're operating on has been properly saved out, or an engineer who needs to do a HAZOP with thoughtful consideration to the potential hazards. Driving to work each day, making sure we drive safely and defensively. And it takes practice on the little things, doing them right day in, day out. Each of us have a unique role to play, and it's only by all of us doing our roles that we'll all be safe. Instant injury free is the journey that we're on. And we're starting from a great base, but we need to build even further relationships and make our workplace even safer. And we're starting that off by doing some training and by having local instant injury free teams to reinforce and coach and remind us what we're trying to accomplish. We also have an employee safety forum by which a first time ever, we have employees from across our various sites get together and share best safety practice. And so as we move forward into the future, just imagine a workplace by which you care about those that you work with so much that you don't allow unsafe acts to happen. And that you know that everyone across the BU is likewise working to make sure that you're safe. So help me in making NGLs an incident and injury-free place to keep us all safe and coming home safe at the end of the day.